Thank you so much for staying with us. For more on our top stories and others, please visit our website, channelstv.com and youtube.com forward slash channels web. You can also watch us on the go on your mobile device. Log on to m.channelstv.com or download the Channels TV app for Android, iOS and Windows phones from their respective stores. Having the Channels TV and Channels 24 app will give you access to news and updates. You also have the eyewitness feature so you too can be a part of the news. Just install the app, then tap and swipe to reveal the eyewitness menu and follow the instructions to share those pictures, videos or news of happenings around you. As normalcy which seems to return to crisis within parts of southern Kaduna, the people of Goska in Jema local government area say their source of livelihood is under threat as armed herdsmen have occupied their farms. They say the presence of the police in their communities has stopped the attacks, but they want them to move to the farms. This is Deng Forest, located between Goska and Gidanwai communities, both in Jema, local government area of southern Kaduna. It's the area surrounding the farms of the residents, and they say they've not been able to go to the farms since the December 24, 2016 attacks, as they claim armed herdsmen have taken over their farms. I'm appealing to the government to please help to assign police and the, the soldiers to go inside the forest and drive them out. Because our lands, we don't have any strength to go. We, are, we don't have any means to go there as of now. Responding to the fears of the people, the Chief of true, Army Staff, Lieutenant General uh, Tukoboratai, promises a swift action. We have our special forces who are well trained uh, to go into any terrain and uh, operate. So be rest assured. Uh, we will do uh, the right thing. But overall, the people say they want sincere dialogue for peace. So reconciliation, there must be honesty. There must be honesty and we must do everything to see that we protect our promise. So that when I say, you know, I will not fight, I will not kill you, that I won't, I won't kill you, I won't, I, I, won't, I won't injure you. <laughs> the governor, Nasir El Rafai, promises to take the effort beyond just dialogue and to be objective. We do not care what ethnic group or religion he is. Frankly, I do not even care if he's my son or daughter. If he participates in this crisis, he will face a judge. If the judge says he has done nothing wrong, so be it. But my duty, which I swore with the Quran, is to ensure that we enforce the law and we'll do it. At any cost, at any price. The people of Southern Kaduna say they are holding the government to its promises. A special advisor to the president on Niger Delta and coordinator of the presidential amnesty program, General Paul Burr, is calling on Nigerians to ensure that they actively participate and invest in agriculture to revamp the nation's economy. Meanwhile, the Bayelsa state government says its policies are friendly for agriculture to thrive. Irrespective of your field, irrespective of your discipline, have a farm. Whether you are a pilot, you are an engineer, you are in the National Assembly, the technocrats, have a farm. After you finish flying, when you come down, drive to your farm and enjoy the products. I uh, assure you that this state is prepared to collaborate with you, prepared to collaborate with our friends and partners and stakeholders to collaborate with all other levels of authority so that we can address the problems that we were elected to do. And here now, we're talking about agriculture. Um, we have over farm settlements, aquaculture centers, we want to have that in every energy process I started, the continuum of uh, agri is here, farms already released, work already going on even as we speak. And we want to continue to work with you uh, to give land, any land you need. We will provide land and work with you so that uh, our young boys and girls and even ex-agitators uh, can now 
fits into the agriculture and sustainable development program. The health care and well-being of the military is crucial to the fulfillment of their constitutional role. That was the message of the Chief of Naval Staff, represented by the Chief of Administration, Rear Admiral Henry Babalola, while taking delivery of medical items from the United States-based medical agency. He also said some of the no donations, which are meant for naval health care centers across the commands, would be sent to IDP camps in the Northeast. It's a tour of the medical store of the Nigerian Navy. And what you see are medical consumables donated by a U.S.-based medical agency as part of collaborative efforts to improve health care of military personnel. The items handed over include beddings, drugs, medical equipment of various sorts, which are meant to be deployed to Navy medical centers across various commands. Prior to the tour, the commander, Nigerian Navy Reference Hospital, Calabar Command, said the supplies are life and fund saving. Money that would have been used to buy these supplies or equipment that would be given to them freely. It is expected that these, the various units, these savings will be used to address other areas of need. The representative of the donor agency wants to see an effective management of the facilities and medical consumables. My objective is to sustain and strengthen the Navy Medical Corps provisions of patient care. Each year in Nigeria, out of 1,000 live births, 67 babies die. We are ranked 13th highest in the world. This is not acceptable. While applauding the gesture, the Chief of Administration of the Nigerian Navy, Rear Admiral Henry Babalola, says the Navy would also extend some of the donations to IDPs. So this collaboration between the Nigerian Navy and MedShare International was one of the initiatives I put in place to bridge the equipment and consumable shortfalls in the Nigerian Navy medical services. The medical equipment and consumables to be handed over today will be distributed across all Nigerian Navy medical facilities to enhance medical care delivery. We have also directed that part of this equipment should be handed over to the interne internally displaced persons, especially in the Northeast and the various hotspots in Nigeria. With these supplies, it is expected that naval personnel would access better health care, which should be a key to optimum discharge of their constitutional role. Chris Elams, Channels Television News. And still to come on the program, the Kogi State Government uncovers fraud in its civil service. More details in a moment. Join us again.